I'm upset. I have a pimple right here, and it's just, it's just, it's just, I feel like it's going to ruin the flow. I don't know. Anyways, today we're back with more One Piece. We got episode four today. Hopefully no recording issues like last time. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And check out some other videos. Last time I did two episodes of one video because I had some recording issues, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, in those two episodes, we met Buggy the Clown officially. We fought him. He had really cool powers of like where his limbs come apart or he can separate his body. That was really cool. And then the third episode, it seems like it's going to be a two-part adventure where we're going to have to deal with this butler that is poisoning this poor girl because he wants the shipyard that she owns. But the butler is ahead of us now because he took a few people out. He took out Zoro, who is our best fighter. And uh, what's his face? Luffy ate the poisonous soup. So we'll see how much that will affect him. But yeah, let's go ahead and take care of that butler because I freaking hate him. Let's go. Oh, they didn't fully kill him, and then also they threw down his weapons to him. I wonder how he's gonna get out of this situation. <laughs> okay, that well was much deeper than I thought it'd be. Zoro focused episode? No, sorry. Kuro. His name is Captain Kuro. Ah, now I know you're lying. Long claws, tiny glasses? Impossible. My father. Axan Morgan killed him years ago. Shut up. Hey, Luffy? Yeah, my other other best friend. He's in trouble too. Luffy's the place you're taking us to. Yes, aren't you listening to me? <laughs> Luffy. Is this guy dead? <laughs> His tummy definitely not feeling well. Oh, she got in the uh, noise closet. Nice. Tasted like poison, idiot. Not oh, well, I'm the cook. You're not a cook and I'm not a maid. We are pirates. Sell yourself, short champ. Believe me. A little bit clunky, clunky dialogue there, but okay. Go ahead and toss him in the well with a green head of. Aye, aye, Captain. These guys are so corny. They're also terrible at checking if people actually die or not. I'm so sorry if Usip has wasted your time. You see, he's not well. The entire village has tried their utmost to help, but... Honestly, Usab, this would have been much better for you if you just didn't lie all those years ago. But I, I know what I saw. All right, that's enough. I thought we had a job to do. We're... But he has the glasses on. You're just gonna close the door on us? Cool. There's nothing I can do. You also put your faith in stupid Kobe, little nerd. Get her. Hey. Nice. Kind of I shall stick to my expertise and leave you to yours. This guy is so obviously evil. Help! Please, pirate! Somebody help! Stop! 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 Relax. Dashed out and went back to his old ways of yelling. Oh, a Zoro backstory. Cool. Oof. Got him. I wonder how he came to the conclusion that the third sword is going to be in his mouth. That he's going to be doing that. You're dropping your elbow. We're not friends, Kalina. Now need advice from you. All right, relax, bro. She's just trying to help. I know I can't be you. It's these bamboo swords. Let's fight with real blades to see who's best. Fight to the death? Fine. Katana Sadish. You better be ready to kill me. Oh, just kiss already, you two. Get out of here. Open the window. Aesop? Yeah, hurry up, hurry up, come on. You're in danger. Aesop, you're not making any sense. Please, Kai, we gotta get out of here. Explain. Use your words. He killed Mary. Mary? He was here only a few hours ago. Yeah. No. Oh, well, now he's in the afterlife. Just believe me. You always believe me. I believed your stories because they were fun. This one isn't. This isn't a story. It's the truth. You gotta listen to me. Whoa, buddy. Whoa. Come on. Come on. You're trying to get somebody's attention. Don't get aggressive. Why are you grabbing her like that? But it also doesn't help that everybody around him just refuses to just think for a second. No. Done running. 
All right, let's go. I'm not leaving your side. Protect your woman. The time for waiting is over. Kaya is of age. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. You talk about something else, but just, just terrible to say that. Oh. Okay. I didn't know this house was built like this. Thank God you're still alive. Why wouldn't we be alive? Oh, wardrobe change. Oh, what is that guy wearing? Think about it, Kaya. When did you start getting sick? Was it around the time Kuro started working here? Think. Use your brain. You're a big girl. Kaya! Who are you talking to? You know she's in her room. Oh, he knows, like, he knows all, like, the ways in and out of the house, right? <laughs> God damn it, you and your stupid cough. <laughs> oh! It's time to stop! <laughs> oh, he got somebody. That has to be a tough climb. And plus, if you drop, it's over. Oh, cool shot. I like how he's, like, kind of in the shadows. You're gonna dual wield while she only uses one? You cannot lose this. Woo. Cool. Two swords not enough? Maybe you should have brought more. She's talking shit. Oh, wait, she has the white one. The white one's special. That's his third one. Oh no, this is a tragic backstory. Oh, I just realized. You're dropping your elbow again. <laughs> Just like usual, very good choreography. Okay. Woo. Ah, that's gotta hurt. She's not actually gonna execute you, dummy, but you suck. Friends, bro. We're both so good that we're just gonna fight alongside each other. You'll surpass me in size, strength, and speed. You'll surpass me in everything. That's dumb. Probably even in life, because she's gonna die and he's gonna take her sword. All the boys will get taller and stronger. Their arms will be longer than mine. Who cares about that kind of stuff? Just, base, just basic athletics, really. But no woman can beat a man. Don't say that. That's not true. You just give up. What has all our training been for? Let's fight every day until one of us becomes the greatest. <laughs> Do that for me? Rowan Ozoro. About to fight, train, and kick your butt every single day. Shimotsuki Kobina. About to fight, train, and kick your butt every single day. Oh, that's cute. One of us will become the world's greatest swordsman. Or woman. To ever live. Oh, but I'm worried now. She's got, she's definitely gonna die because he has her weapon. The only reason you're here is because you're friends with that straw hat. Garp doesn't believe in you. There might be some truth in this. You know, he played games with him and stuff, and he tried to teach him life lessons. So maybe he actually cares about him. But also, yeah, he does want to use him. <laughs> Disgusting. He took advantage of you. Now we need you to be strong so we can get out of here. And then we also would like some of your money and the ship that you're gonna give us. So we kinda need you to stay alive, okay? Damn! Fucking beautiful scenery over here, what the hell? Don't tell me she already died though. Seems like it's a sad thing. I was just waiting for Kuina. Do you know where she is? There was an accident. Fucking, I knew it. I, I fucking, god she damn it. She's gone. How are you gonna introduce me to this relationship and to her, make me care for her, for it, and then just and just take her away like that? Damn you, show. We made a promise. We made a promise. So can I? 
So can I have that? Can I have her weapon? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in my mouth. There you go. Take that. Yours now. Why do Ichimanji's a rare blade? Why should I allow you to carry it? Because I'm gonna be fucking sick with it. What are you talking about? And one of us become the world's greatest swordsman to ever live. And it's up to you to fulfill that promise. Let's go! And for her. Let's go! I love this. I love how they use this, him climbing out of this well sequence for to tell like an important part of his backstory. Let's go. And we're out. Let's go kick some ass now. I think he's gonna go after my crew. Come on, Kobe. I want to direct orders to bring you in. You're here to protect, dude. I wanted to help innocent people. Yes! <laughs> I hope that guy, the, the idiot with the, the stupid haircut, forgot his name. I, I hope he comes good and he has a character development eventually. Could be a cool character development for him. Putting on airs. Pretending we're better than we are! You thought there was somebody in that chair? We're in, let's do this. You think I'm locked in here with you? No, you're locked in here with me! Even if he didn't have enough time for you. To be honest, I'm kind of done with this guy now. At this point, we can take care of him. Stronger than you think. Okay, pop off. <laughs> Except you guys didn't account for him having, you know, super speed. Reload! Reload! Quick! <laughs> it's really cool of him not to s start stabbing them right away. To just, like, stop the stabbing part, you know what I mean? It's, it's really cool of him to, you know. Okay. What the hell? Got him. Did you really think you could get the best of me? I'm Kiro of the Thousand Plan. Oh my god, I'm so done with you. I'm I'm honestly so done with you. Can we take care of him already? I've killed more crewmates than I care to remember. They're expendable. Oh, Every... we're actually bleeding here. I took a hit. <laughs> <laughs> What? No. Okay, now you really pissed me off. You gave up on your dream. No one who does that can ever call themselves a pirate. I didn't know dreaming was part of being a pirate. Gotcha. Looks like you're the one giving up now. I love how he walked up close to him and didn't stab him. Just did it. Just did it. Like he was right up to him. Close enough to say something to his ear. Just... <laughs> Sick. Just hit him with a little curveball. Oh no. Oh no, you know once that thing enters his mouth, it's over. Oh, never mind. Woo, got him. What now? Oh my god! He's gonna have put him! That's amazing. <laughs> I did not expect that stretchy head, bud. So they don't actually kill or take care of any enemies, do they? They just kind of kick him out of windows or out of doors. And they're like, cool, so that settles that. Babe, we can't collect their bounty. No, no, the Marines already know where we are. We have to get out of here. We don't even have a ship. Yo, upgrade, let's go. Mary ran the shipyard after my parents passed. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Who was their dearest colleague? Well, at least we're paying respect to that guy. At least he just didn't just die just cause. I hereby name this ship the Going Mary. It's yours now. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for them. Let's go. With us? Right? What? No, his girl is here. I saw what you did back there. Sticking up for your friends. 
that's exactly the kind of guy I need on my crew. Honestly, back there, he didn't do much, I'll be honest, but he will have more attempts to do something. What, what about Akaya? She needs me to take care of her. I think it's time I start taking care of myself. Please get this girl some bodyguards, at least. I think I might do something different. I okay, cool. study to become a doctor. I expect you're all about the real adventures of Captain Usopp. Love that. Let's go! They, they do know I'm the captain, right? Shut up! <laughs> that is actually a massive upgrade. <laughs> Yo, Luffy, let's go. You got your own ship and you got a crew. I don't like this guy. I could do without him for a while. Don't be too hard on yourself. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. They put a tracker or what? Ta da! <laughs> Captain I am Captain Uso. In every sea, the they call me, me Captain, Captain, Usa. Captain. This is what it's all about. From now on, it's all gonna be smooth sailing. No, that's that's just terrible timing. Marines, we're under attack. Ah, you little shit, Kobe. Grandpa. 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 What did he just say there, dude? Grandpa. Grandpa. He's related to that guy? That's a crazy plot twist, which is interesting because, yeah, we don't know, like, who Luffy's parents are. Because Shanks wasn't one of his parents. Shanks was a guy that he looked up to and he wanted to be a pirate. So, wow, okay, so he's related to the guy that's chasing him. Interesting. I wonder if the other, the other guy definitely knows that he's chasing his grandson so here's the thing about this arc this adventure kind of with you know getting this boat we have to do this to get the boat i don't know for how long we're gonna have the boat because it looks like you know the marines are after us hopefully this boat doesn't get destroyed right away because we just got it we spent two episodes basically trying to get it for this arc um i think i was kind of done with the villains the the, the pirate with you know edward scissor hand over there and his crew, I thought they were here for a little too long. I didn't really need like a two episode arc, in my opinion, with them, but we did it. What they brought is actually pretty cool fight sequences, just like usual with the show, but they did have some really corny moments with their dialogue, but also these moments of like, I mean, every show does this with the trope, you know, when the bad guy gets the hero, he's not gonna kill him right away because he, you know, want, because we want the hero to come back, right? If the villain kills him right away, it's like, then it's game over. The show does this thing where like the villains, they have a chance to kill the hero right away. And you're like, well, this is their objective to kill the hero. Why didn't they? The best example, one of the best examples is literally like he's running around the room kind of taunting Luffy and he stabs him, you know, because he wants to, you know, kill him. He scratched him more. But then he gets right behind him, whispers something into his ear when he could have like stabbed him. And it's one of those scenarios where like you're thinking to yourself, well, logically, why didn't he do that? And I feel like his crew and him, the villain that is, were kind of written like that. They were written very corny and very by the books. I was honestly just kind of checked out with them towards the end. I was done. I was ready to take them out. And the way they took them out with the headbutt, hilarious. Loved that. But also in this episode, we got some background information on Zoro, which I thought was done very well. It was a small portion of this episode. But the way they executed with the dialogue and the, the way they pasted, I thought they did it very well to where like I cared about that small story. And now we have background information of why the one sword that he has, why it's so important to him. And again, we just improved his character. Now we know more about him. And I thought that was done very well in this episode. I don't know how we get out of this situation with uh, the Marines right behind us and just ocean just sea right in front of us and they're right behind us with their big ass ship right and fuck us honestly before this i didn't really bother in knowing who luffy's parents are or what his family's like i was just kind of like oh maybe like shanks i don't know found him adopted him kind of and he was raised by pirates and the town that he was in never really bothered to think like who this kid's family could be but now now I'm wondering who this family could be because his grandpa is 
the Scottish guy. Also, Luffy is obsessed with pirates. I wonder if Luffy's parents were pirates or obsessed with pirates. And then one of his parents, if this guy is actually his grandpa, then one of his parents, that's one of his parents' fathers who is hunting pirates. So there's like a, there's like a very personal hunt going on here. Kind of family are pirates. He doesn't want to be a pirate and he wants to hunt pirates. So we will see and find out if he has a soft spot for Luffy. And if you enjoyed today's reaction, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check us out my videos and we will be back very soon for more One Piece. Peace.